That is so cool. I'm not joking. It's three friggin' T. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Seriously. Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. Today I'm going to show you some CDs I have bought just in the last day. A couple of rock music magazines and two t-shirts. One of them is a Beatles t-shirt as you can see. Oof, that smells. Ugh. And Let's be serious, because there's going to be some Tool fans watching this, and I don't want to look like a Tool. The other band t-shirt I bought, I've never had this band on a t-shirt before, until now. That's right, Credence Clearwater Revisited. <laughs> The two members uh, were, were, I don't know if they still are, but they were doing live performances as Credence Clearwater revisited. I'd rather see John Fogarty. Nothing against the band members, actually, because Credence Clearwater Revival was awesome. I'm going to ramble a lot. I always ramble. So I'll quickly show you the two latest rock magazines I bought, Mojo, with Bruce on the cover. Uh, Jane's Addiction, Brittany Howard, don't know who that is. Billy Childish, I don't know who that is. I just noticed that. I know who that is. That's Sparks. Ricky Lee Jones, Captain Beefheart, Idols, The Who, P.P. Arnold, Rocky Erickson, and How to Buy Spiritual Jazz. Let's see if I can find the Sparks article. If you don't know who Sparks are, you haven't lived. There it is. Uh, it only took me five minutes to find it. It's just one little article this time. Sparks and director Leos Karak say anything goes for neurotic screen tragedy Annette. That's right, they're doing a feature film and also uh, Edgar Wright, the director of uh, uh, that What's that zombie movie? I can't think of it at the moment. But he's doing a documentary on Sparks. And Sparks are releasing a new album later this year. So it's an exciting time to be a, to be a, to be a fan of Sparks. I just woke up a few hours ago. And the other... This is a cool one. You know, I don't buy vinyl. But I find this magazine very interesting. Record Collector with some band named King Crimson on the cover. Nick Jones, Nick Lowe, Marty Wilde, The Last Poets, uh, Kiss, Fish, lots of pictures to scan. So, two magazines. Now, the I'll leave the Tool CD for last, because I want to talk about Tool, seriously. And I hope there's some Tool fans that are patient and don't skip to the end where I'm talking about Tool. Everybody's impatient these days. They, they don't want to sit there and listen to a guy ramble for 30 minutes. <laughs> 
So, first of all, I have here four CDs. One of them is a Tool CD. Which one did I buy? I don't know. This first one, for some Canadian content besides me, Canadian Stud Muffin, I've wanted to get this on CD forever. And I finally have it on CD. I remember buying this on vinyl back in, I think it was 19... I actually think, besides Sgt. Pepper, this was one of the very first... This might, have, might even be the first vinyl record that was mine. Because it, I had a paper route at the time. I think the Sgt. Pepper album was kind of like my brothers and I... I think it was one of my brothers, maybe, album. And, you know, I could listen to it or something. But this was one of the very first records I ever had. The Guess Who? Share the Land. And there's the band members on the back. You know, they're, you know, they're, they're really well known for American Woman and These Eyes and Clap for the Wolf Man, but they made superb albums as uh, the channel Fit to be Tie-Dyed would agree with me. So there's the cover. and the famous RCA label. I like yellow. I don't... that is yellow. I'm colorblind with red and green, so sometimes some colors confuse me a bit. Or is that green? Plus in the light. Is that green or yellow? I think it's yellow. And this one is remastered and I think it was a date on it. Hard to read but it says 2015. And it comes with a booklet with words in it to scan. And that was the, uh, I always forget what you call that, the, the inner sleeve or whatever the heck it's called. And that's cool, and the band, I guess the band members talk about the individual songs. And if you don't think the Guess Who can rock, you have not heard Hang On To Your Life. And it comes with bonus tracks, too. Isn't that a bonus? Uh, the bonus tracks are Running Down the Street, B-Side of Hand Me Down World, Hang On To Your Life, Single Version, and Moan For You, Joe, Take Three. And for you Tool fans, they're, I guess they're progressive rock, metal, whatever, whatever genre. So this band, if you have not heard them, they might be of some interest to you Tool fans out there. Or Lemmy fans. Motorhead, Lemmy, Motorhead. You know who this is? What band is this? That's right. I was opening it up before I showed you the... It's Hawkwind. It is Hall Hall of the Mountain Grill. I love that cover. That is cool. And I got another Hawkman CD to show you.
I won't call them albums because somebody commented once that CDs are not albums, even though they are. So I actually had this on vinyl way, way back in the day, in the uh, mid-70s, and I really did enjoy it, so. The only other Hawkwin CD I own is the, uh, their live one that I can forget the name of at the moment because I just woke up four hours ago. The jokes never stop. My printer is going to be working overtime this weekend. And the other one I bought, which I also had on vinyl in the early 70s, and this is a newly remastered CD of the original Stereo Master Tapes with eight bonus tracks. A CD of a new Stereo Mix. I didn't even know that when I bought it, seriously. A CD of all new Stereo Mix of the album by Stephen Wilson, the guy that did the awesome job on the Yes albums, and the guy whose band I have not listened to yet, Porcupine Tree, or his solo a DVD of Stephen Wilson's 5.1 Surround Sound Mix of Warrior on the Edge of Ta Town, and a lavishly illustrated booklet with essay and interview with Dave Brock that you can scan. It says it right there, that you can scan. <laughs> and this, look at that. I love this. Uh, this album cover even more. And I believe, I, it's been a, such a long time. The, there's a couple of songs I remember. King of Speed, which I think is on this one. Yeah, King, King, Kings of Speed, I remember. But I think they're both great. But I believe, I believe this one is maybe a touch better than this one. You Hawkwin fans will let me know. So there's all the, if you want to seriously pause the video to read that, if you can read it, all the content on it. Okay, enough being serious, back to the comedy. <laughs> what comedy? Uh, oh, this is different. The box opens this way. Warrior on the Edge of Time. And I believe there's still, I don't know how many original members are still in the band, but I believe they're still performing and making records. Just like Tool does every 13 years. Another joke! <laughs> No wonder this this box set was costing me five hundred and eighty-five dollars. That was a joke. And a booklet to scan. Here's the band. I think this is where I should say, hey, check out my, my Canadian Stud Muffin store. It's below all of my videos now. I've just started, so, you know, easy, easy on it. 
and uh, maybe at some point this year somebody will actually buy a t-shirt or something. If they do, send me a selfie and I'll show it off in a video. I just, I, I love the sound that Hawkwind makes. I guess that's why I love the band. And finally, uh, and one other thing, I, I meant recently did a video asking people what's a, you know, a, a well-known artist that for the most part fans like or love, but they've released a stinker of an album. And two of the choices were uh, Lou Reed and Metallica's Lulu. I'm a fan of Lou Reed and Metallica's okay, I don't dislike them. And also, uh, Elton John's Victim of Love. So I ordered both of them. So I'm going to do a semi-serious review on both in the very near future. So here's Tool. And actually, my two sons, back in the day, I guess when this was released, I think, I think they both bought it, if I'm not mistaken. But I've been mistaken before. But I never listened to them. I never gave them a chance. But their new single... And I heard it again, just for the second time. The first time I really liked it. The second time I liked it more. These are one of these bands, I think, like Yes, where uh, there's some Yes albums like Relayer, Tales from Topographic Oceans. You know, you hear it the first time and you, you don't even know if you like it. And then after 85,000 listens, you love it. I have no idea what this does here. And I ordered the deluxe version of uh, Tool's album, with, which comes with a 4-inch LCD screen, I guess. And so I'll be doing an unboxing on August 30th of that. Whoa, I'm freaking out. What do you, what do, you do? What, what's this do? I have no idea. What am, I, am I stupid? Don't answer that. Maybe somebody can explain to me. I don't. I need glasses. Everything's blurry. Okay. And so I've never. I'm going to be listening to this album tonight with headphones. That is cool. And so I would love Tool fans to comment below. I was almost going to do a, a separate video on Tool and just ask. Just tell me stuff about. Tool. Like, what is your favorite album of theirs? What's your favorite song? What's something you you don't like about the band? I mean, besides them taking so long to make a new al album. I guess there's... Oh, I see. See, I'm not so stupid. What's... It, it's supposed to be like 3D or something? I don't know. What am I... I'll figure it out later. Don't worry. I'll be okay. But that is... Maybe I need to smoke something first. I don't know. It's not... It's the way I'm looking at it or something. It's like too... Is this when you kind of... That is so cool! I'm not joking. It's three friggin... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Seriously. You need to focus. Uh, you need to focus on it. That is so cool. Wow. Look. Oh, you can't see it. So, yeah. I'll... Just different pictures. I'm done. So, the CD... And I guess their their new album, a lot of fans are excited. There's a 20-minute song. There's the label. 
there's a 20 minute song. I don't know if it's that song that supposedly has like a, was it a four minute guitar solo or a three minute guitar solo? I love music. I don't know if you've ever noticed that. So that is, I'm going to listen to, to that tonight and maybe possibly give you a review of it on, you know, my thirst, th my thirst, my first thoughts on this. And even, you know, even if I, I don't get into it the first time, I'm not going to give up because sometimes you do that with, with albums. You give up on them like I did with Yes is Going for the One. It's like, no, I love Yes, but not doing it for me. And it took me a while to finally get the patience to actually listen to it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really seriously appreciate every nice, halfway nice, <laughs> comment I receive. And uh, check out my community on my front page if you haven't already. And check out my Canadian Stub Muffin store. And I'm going to try and add more products to it soon and different ideas. I've, I've just started, like I said. And I don't expect to be a multimillionaire until next year. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.